has a dual role tonight. He, he is our entertainment in a few minutes, but he also has an important story to tell. So, John, you want to come up and, and tell your story? I'm very grateful for serving two years in the Navy Seal program. And I actually was introduced by a friend at NAMI. Uh, they referred me to the manager there, and he referred me to Sam Mitchell Housing. That's how I actually found out about it. And I'm very grateful for serving seniors. They've done a lot and transitional housing. I lived a normal life like everybody else, active in my, as a musician, active in the community, living in a beautiful townhouse with a household, and then your life is taken away and you're thrown out in the street to be homeless all your life. It was a nightmare because the owner died and the, the transfer of the probate was supposed to go to my uh, friends and we were all gonna live there. The county didn't acknowledge the real estate. We even got the money and it escaped from the bank. They would not acknowledge it. So rude awakening, the 13 sheriffs and six dogs kicked us out. We're not even allowed to get our stuff. <laughs> We've got a few items, but they watched us like a cop. It was like the military. So I'm living in motels, I'm living in RVs, I'm living outside in the cold, not knowing what to do. I actually got a hold of somebody from PAC. They referred me to Bobby Joe's. I was there for five months, but it was dangerous. I had stuff stolen all the time. Um, I just, it, it, it wasn't safe. But, and I had gang members that threatened me for no reason I tried to mind my own business. So I left there, I slept outside, and I slept at a friend's. Between that, and it was horrible because then you have to compartmentalize your life. You go here to wash clothes. You go here to do this. Your life is just completely a mess when you completely compartmentalize. Then I got hit by a car and killed. That's oh. that's bad. But when I met um, transitional housing, I said, okay, I can wait for five months, even though this is kind of like a little bit on the edgy side. And they told me five to six months on the waiting list. I was willing to do that. Meanwhile, you know, I'm trying to recover from the car accident that set me back. And it was really scary. I didn't think I was going to be here in San Diego. Originally, my household and I were going to leave and go uh, out of state, but uh, things changed. And it, it's, a, it's the shock of having to be, I felt like a failure. It's like my life was success and overnight thrown completely. Well, Transitional Housing told me, called me about February of last year because I stayed in a temporary shelter too and spread the and they called me, and it was like five months, and that was a time to adjust, because I'm still having to adjust anyway. And I'm at the one day you know, there at my motel, and I was looking for other places. Doors open, thank goodness I can afford a emergency business. And I have been there since, and that's my story now about being homeless. Because three people told me, well, I'll talk to the Michael over there. And I did. And I took advantage of the, of the opening. I'm giving back to the community. I want you all to know. Helping other people, giving them resources. This is what I was giving. I was giving people resources, where to go, uh, assisting them. And I'm continuing to be active and help all of you because I want to give back all that was a help. I thank God for this because I'm getting my life back. I'm going to school in the fall as a musician. And I am accomplishing other things that I want to accomplish. But most of all, I'm a member of being active in the community. I want to help all that. Uh, I, a woman, I saved her life. She went to a uh, shelter right away. I referred her to a person whose name, Michelle. She's an outreach expert. So in any way that you need help, I'm willing to uh, be active. And I support all of you in our community and mission. So I just wanted to let you all know that I'm there. And uh, I've been there, and I know the nightmare of being homeless is horrible. Now I can start uncompartmentalizing my life. I can still adjust to, to pick up that survival mode, but it's, it's just so. Thank you all. For Thank, you. Thank you.